Hello my crafty friends, it's Terry from Vigs Test Creates and what do we have here? It's the latest tonic craft kit, um, number 52 I believe. So let's just dive right in. Um, if you're a regular to the kits you'll know that last month we were meant to get a binder but we didn't but here we go we have our lovely binder with us today um, let's just get everything out and get rid of the packaging so this is tonic craft kit um, 52 country apron so that is absolutely adorable and it enables you to make these cute little i think it's a gift box yeah country apron gift box but you can obviously also make cards with it as well which is really cute so let's have a look at our color palette first because i think that's always a good place to start obviously if you're already a subscriber to the kits you'll know what the palette is anyway but this is more for the the people that aren't um subscribed to the craft kits yet or are maybe thinking about it maybe they've bought a few one-off kits and they're thinking oh i quite like these shall i shall i subscribe well i would say go ahead because check this out look how much paper and cardstock we've got this is absolutely amazing um tonic have recently started doing this patterned paper it's like double-sided a4 sheets um we've had these in about the last four or five kits now so we've got some paper we've got some 300 gsm uh, ivory cardstock we've got some different colors in pink red blue of the craft perfect we've got some gorgeous speciality paper in that beautiful blue which is gorgeous a lovely uh, satin effect red mirrored cardstock a beautiful pale pink uh, floral handmade cotton paper some beautiful um pearlescent cardstock here in gold and i think that's gleaming lilac is it gleaming lilac no it's princess pink and also some gold glitter cardstock as well so blues pinks creams golds is the color palette that we've got there which i just think is lovely um let's have a look at our nouveau which is going to correspond nicely with this so oh this is lovely i was really excited about this um i hope this is a new style bottle because these are really cool so we've got prism pink um or you can see they've got a nice a b finish on them so they're not just that lovely pale pink they've got a shimmer to them it's gorgeous some dream drops i haven't got this color lemon twist that's beautiful uh i, I recognize this color oh no i don't winter cranberry no i thought it was the candy kisses but it's not it's um it's different to that i think it's maybe darker that's nice so we've got some shimmer powder as well in catherine wheel um fired brick glitter marker now i do already have this one so i'm not gonna um take that one out of its pack um but these are really nice very glittery so you can use them to color things you can use them to stamp with and you can also rub a bit on um your palette or a bit of plastic or a glass mat water it direct down and then splatter with it as well um we've got some nouveau chalk mousse this is cool i think i've only got one of one chalk mousse now so far that came with the previous kit delicate blue that's so pretty that is gorgeous to use through stencils and things and some gorgeous skinny um chili red ribbon so a great variety of nouveau cards uh, card and paper and let's have a little look at the actual kit itself so we've got the this outer die here this looks like the mechanism to make the base and the sides um, and then basically you can either turn it into something for someone who loves cooking so we've got loads of cooking utensils here so this might be barbecuing or it might be baking 
and let's not be you know let's be non-gender specific because my husband is absolutely fantastic baker and um he doesn't wear an apron even though i did buy him a cool one but you know um and you know there are lots of women like my mom that are really quite handy um so this is a really good kit i mean considering we've got mother's day coming up and father's day then a few months after so if you know either your mom or your dad or your uh, any figures like that in your life enjoy things like um baking or my father-in-law is a handyman and um, you know so you know like that's that's a card for him sorted straight away um and some lovely sentiments to go along with it uh, happy father's day and happy mother's day again so straight away it's giving you some ideas or from the kitchen of or from the garden of my mum is a really keen gardener as well. So you've got these cute like little flowers and um, foliage elements and some more pretty flowers here as well. So yeah, so quite a bit to do really. So what I'll do is I will um, cut all the pieces out to assemble the box um, and then I'll show you how to assemble the box as well. So I'll see you back in a mo. Okay, so to construct the box you need uh, two of these which is this die here and two of these which is this die here and I would recommend using a construction weight one really um, as it's a gift box so sort of something 250 to 300 GSM so I use the 300 GSM ivory cardstock uh, provided in the kit and um, then for this blue layer I use this straight edged one and then to create this um, scallopy edge one, I use this die. So this die can actually be used two ways. So if you just if you just use it by itself, it creates this lovely sort of scalloped edge. Or if you use it in conjunction with this die, then you get um these these little circles will emboss so you could use it with this die so that you would get the outer edge plus um an embossed circular pattern on the inside or you could use it with you could cut that first and then cut around that to get the um, the nice embossed pattern as well um, or just by using it by itself you get that so there's quite a bit of variety that we've been given here with uh, regards to the dies um, if you're new to constructing tonic projects um, tonics 3d 3d makes they are usually extremely easy to put together and if they're a bit more difficult then they usually come with instructions um, and there are there is usually such a nice wide variety of ways that we can use them um, so I will just show you how to construct this box simply I always like to show you in my videos exactly how the item is meant to be used but then I also like to do some out of the box as it were sort of um, creations as well so what I'm going to do is once I've shown you how to do this I'm going to go away and make two cards as well um, and make use of some of these um, I want to use the powder and the mousse and different things on some cards so I'll sort of film some footage of that um, and show you how to do that as well um, so I'll include any footage that just sort of shows you how to do it um, but I won't include all the footage because it's getting that balance right between making it and informative video and giving you as, as much information as you need but not making it too long so you can see what I'm doing here I've just basically put some nice strong Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive on those two tabs and I've adhered 
one panel to it. So you might want to get your bone folder here as well just to give it extra reinforcement and um, get those fibres to adhere nicely, the paper fibres. You can see there that's, that's adhered nicely, you can't see the box poking out. There might be a little bit there actually. So you get a little bit of wiggle time with uh, the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive which can be useful when constructing things. But there you go, I think that's good enough. And then you can see that we need the other piece to make to give us this other side. So what we're going to do here is that one slots onto there, that slots onto there and then we can glue this piece onto here. So the important bits first are putting some glue on the bottom and then onto that side piece there. So we get that pushed up nice there. Oh, I've stuck the wrong side on, never mind. Um, so I was meant I wanted to stick on some uh, some glue onto this side. No problem. It stays wet for a little while as well, so it doesn't matter if you do a little a little oopsie like that. Yep, all nice and flush. And then we can add glue to the rest of our tabs and stick on. The other side. Now I have cut out some more elements to decorate because um, I've done both of the front and the back as the same but I have cut out some more some of the decorative elements so this is going to be more of a sort of baking themed one or a kitchen themed one. Great so the little extra bits that I've cut for decoration are this cute little pocket and then a little decorative bit on the front and then three little utensils so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this one directly onto the front of the apron and then I'm going to use some really skinny adhesive foam strips to um, create some dimension. Um, I've got the tip for these um, foam strips off Sam Calcott on one of her videos. Um, just really really skinny foam strips and they come in a pack of about a million uh, from Amazon. Um, I think there was about £10 or something so it's not the cheapest but they're really useful for things like this where you want to be able to poke things behind something and also for when you're doing um, shaker cards so they're really, I think they're really really handy but I'll show you what I mean so you see we've just got that little bit of dimension there and then you can sort of pop things in oh okay obviously that's just fell through one of the cracks there but if we wanted it not to we could make sure that it was adhered all the way down I am actually going to stick these down anyway um, but it's just really just to show you <clears throat> this little fantastic find I'll get my tweezers out to stick the little things down. Yeah, so that is so, so super cute. And it's quite sturdy because we use the nice 300 GSM card. So the last thing I'm going to show you is just how to um, do the top in terms of making a little... Um, 
how to hold the gift bag and as I say this might be too simplistic for some of you um, it's very difficult as a content creator to figure out exactly how much detail to go in into um, for certain things because obviously I don't want to be teaching folk stuff that they already know um, but likewise I don't want to assume that people know how to do things when they don't so for this um, what I would do is figure out how long I want the handle to be which will probably be about that long and then um, cut two lengths of that so using ridiculously long haberdashery scissors but hey ho whatever's at hand and then do the same for the other side because obviously we want both sides to be the same I love the colour of this chilli red it is so nice and vibrant and then the way I do this um, to create handles is to and you could use twine as well if you were using a different colour scheme and you wanted it to be sort of more uh, like rustic um, I think it would be really nice to use twine on the handles or um, like baker's twine or um, the other type of twine um, you know the, the dupe twine but if you do it like that just tie it in a, in a knot a few times then it won't poke through the hole so then I'll do that again on the other side there you go and then you've got a nice handle there and then we just do the uh, the same for the other side and then we can trim these bits off to be a bit shorter as long as we make sure that's nice and tight and it's not going to unravel there we go okie dokie so um, I mean I would probably write a little sentiment or stamp something from the cute little sentiment pack on the back here uh, well I probably would have done that before I stuck it together um, or you could just get a small piece of card fold it over um, and stick the back of it there so like a to and a from or you could use I'm sure if you're like me you've got loads of tiny little tag dies so you could hang a little tag die off here um, but that is just a very simple way um, to construct the box um, it does actually have some side panel detail here um, so it's got the nice edge there and then it's also got this um, stripey one and there is a stripey front as well to the apron um, so what I would do for this is to just use that nice edge there and then cut some of the, the dotty paper just to make sure that the sides match the front and the back and there we go so what I'm going to do now is to go away and um, make a few cards but I'm going to pop on uh, pop back on before I show you the completed ones with any bits of interesting bits of footage that I think you would like to see so see you in a mo so I've decided what I want to do for my two cards and one of them I'm going to be using the uh, chalk mousse and one of them I'm going to be using the Catherine Will shimmer powder so we'll start off with the um, shimmer powder one actually so in order to do this I've just cut down um, well this is the majority of the scrap left that I've got of the 300 GSM uh, cardstock so first of all I'm going to spritz this and then I'm going to apply some of the powder just by tapping it So I'm either going to use this for a background, that's probably what I'm going to do, um, or you could sort of just, depending on what it looks like and how pleased with, with, I am with that, I, I might um, die cut things out of it, or a bit of both. But I quite like that pattern, and that looks quite cool. 
so obviously uh, this isn't watercolour paper I could have done it on watercolour card but I haven't actually used that much water uh, and in fact I'm just going to dab a little bit off using some kitchen towel um, and then set that over to one side to dry on my gluing mat so that's the first thing I want to, wanted to show you. So if you've never used um, shimmer powder, that's how you use it. Just having a look because there's some bits on here that haven't activated. So I just want to make sure that they're all activated. And you can leave it to dry naturally or you can help it along a bit with um, a heat tool but I'm going to leave it to dry naturally and then carry on working on that tomorrow so I'll pop that over to one side and then the next thing that I want to do is um, use the embellishment mousse so what I've done is I've taken these two dies I use the outer die to cut some of the ivory sheen pearlescent card and then the um, I've just got a piece of white scrap cardstock and um, used both of these dies together so you can see I've stuck them both both together with some tape. I've then adhered just the sides down here with um, some well used tape and then what I'm going to do is apply the chalk mousse through here um, so that we get a nice stripy pattern and I've already cut from the main large die this beautiful blue paper so the idea is that obviously we've got this gorgeous uh, textured patterned floral paper the gorgeous ivory sheen cardstock and then we'll have some nouveau chalk mousse in delicate blue forming stripes so again if you're new to tonics different mousses there are Four or five different ones now so we've got the original embellishment mousse which is just a nice texture paste and then we've got um they came out with expanding mousse which when it which expands when you apply heat to it then crackle mousse which you just leave to dry and then it crackles and then we've got chalk mousse as well which um gives like a chalky finish so similar to embellishment mousse but it gives a chalky looking sort of finish so like a sort of like I've heard it being described as like a suede like finish but it's not shiny like the embellishment mousse so it's got more of a chalky finish so I'm going for just quite an even finish and obviously this is just a one-off so it's like a bit, essentially I've created my own stencil and it's just um it's a really great thing to be able to do this technique because essentially you can turn any of your dies into a stencil um, a single use stencil um, and as you can see there's still loads left in the pot I love that Tonic give us these little sample pots so that we can try things out um, without having to actually spend any money on buying the products to figure out if we like them first so this is going to be the tricky bit which is trying to get off this so okay so I've loosened the one side And fingers crossed I can now just lift this up yep lifting it up 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 and away and I deliberately used some sort of older bits of, of washi tape that had been used a lot well not washi tape it was um whatchamacallit tape I don't know how my words are today guys the tape that you stick stuff down with your dies 
Um, but I'm quite pleased with that. There's a little bit on the edge, so I'm just going to wipe that off with a baby wipe. I think that those stripes look really cute and really effective. Okay, so I thought I'd bob back on um, and show you this process um, as another way to make a shaker. I have shown um, a few different ways um, to use a shaker and I usually build up the sides using cardstock. Um, but for this one, this is my panel minus this bit um, that I created using the shimmer powder and I absolutely love it so I want to use it as the front of a card. So what I did is I used this die to cut a hole into this panel and then into the front of this card and then I also used this die and this die together to create this um, so it's got you can see the lovely embossed um, circular pattern and I deliberately chose the matte mirror card because this effect looks really good on matte mirror um, or sort of any sort of mirror card really so I'm just going to add a few sequins so what I've done I cut down a piece of acetate and um, just glued it over the aperture and then I um, use my long thin strips of foam tape um, and put that all around the edge making sure that there were no, no little bits showing where the sequins could escape from. I've then run my anti-static powder bag all around the outside um, to take off the sticky from the sides so that um, the sequins won't want to stick to the sides that's the plan anyway um, and these um, long skinny foam strips are really handy I'll uh, if I can find them I'll link to them uh, in the description box below um, obviously as well as there's also the link to everything um, to do with the tonic craft kits so if you if you've watched a few of the videos and you're sort of thinking about oh shall I shall I subscribe I just really highly recommend that you do I mean you can cancel you can always skip a month if you don't like that that month's um, kit um, but to be honest I've never skipped one um, there there's always even if you sort of think mm, it's not really I don't know if it's my style you cannot there's so many different even if it's just that you're not that keen on the die set for the nouveau alone it, it's really good um, in my opinion so I say all my de the, uh, details um, are included below and they are affiliate links so if you do sign up um, or buy a, a, a one-off craft kit using any of the links below uh, I will earn a small commission um, which helps to support me and my channel and I do always appreciate any um, purchases made through my affiliate links um, but anyway back onto the shaker so what I'm doing here is I'm going to add some glue onto here and sort of onto around here and then I've got another piece of acetate just to the right of the card which you might not be able to see uh, depending on the lighting And then I'm going to stick the top panel on as well, in fact, so I'll just give it all a good going over. Um, right, so we want this to cover there. Try not to get yourself in a mess with the sticking. Oh no, no, oh, okay. Haven't stuck it over far enough. Urgh. Okay, well, you know, it is hard to see what with it being clear. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut another piece of acetate. It's fine, it's fine, it happens. It happens to us all. And this is how you correct mistakes. Urgh. Gosh. So I've used this heat resistant acetate because it just it happened to be what I had 
your moustache. Um, so it's got this weird like sticky coating on it which is quite annoying. But anyway, right, okay, so I'm going to have to put some more. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute once I've sorted this mess out. Right, the acetate has been removed and a new piece cut. There we go, it's covering both sides now. There we go. So, I'm now going to add uh, on top of the card front and then um, our shaker should be almost complete we'll just have to add the red inner panel inside um, that nice aperture and then that should look really nice nice shaker element so what I wanted is to still be able to see this bit in fact I might just Stick it back in there. Maybe add something extra. Right, so I'm going to add, well, first of all, make sure this is all fully stuck down. Right, so we just need to put glue on the in around the edges of this and slot that inside the front. The reason I'm not using tweezers is I try to avoid using tweezers when I'm um, gluing um, mirror card because I find it leaves little dents in it. So if I can get away with it, I do try and avoid it. Oh, that looks cute, doesn't it? How cute does that look? Oh, that is gorgeous. Yeah, I could have added more sequins, but now do I want to add that back in? Let's have a look. Okay, I'm undecided. I'll be back in a minute with the completed projects. <laughs> okay, my crafty friends. So here are the final three projects. So here's the box again that we constructed together. Um, I added the other ribbon on and adhered some side panels. The shaker that was being a little tricky trickster with the acetate, um, I'm really pleased with the way that's turned out. I went down the route of just adding some patterned paper onto the back um, as I really wanted the focus to just be on the beautiful patterned background um, in the foreground that we created using the um, shimmer spray, shimmer powder. Um, so I just simply added some sequins onto the outside to bring the inside out and a few other embellishments as well, uh, including the dream drops. And then for the, the second card, um, I placed the apron at a nice jaunty angle. This is the one where I used my homemade stencil to apply the chalk mousse through um, through the stencil onto the pearlescent card, which has given such a lovely effect. It's a really sort of matte suede-like effect. Um, and yeah, I'm really pleased how that came out. So I definitely recommend you to try that um, using the chalk mousse on pearlescent card and also on um, mirror card as well to give some interesting effects. And then just added some little um, embellishments around. So I've made them quite generic so they could be used for many different occasions. So um, that's um, today's three makes. So thanks for spending this time with me today and I'll see and speak to you soon with some more crafty goodness. Bye for now.